Earlier today, I was at my job, and as I was browsing through Facebook, I ran into the brand new trailer of The Joker. It was staring at me, begging me to hit the play button. I was a little busy at the moment, so I only I, I was only able to look at it for uh, less than a minute, and then I had to hit the pause button. Afterwards, I had to handle my business at the job, and my bosses, John and Carlos, shout out to you guys, they're big fans of superhero movies. DC or Marvel, doesn't matter, because we're all fans. Anyway, I sent them uh, a link into their uh, messengers on their phones, and I told them, I said, listen, this is a brand new trailer, it dropped today, this morning, you gotta check it out, and I was sharing with them you know, that short, brief moment when I was watching it. And I said, hey, man, based upon the very beginning, I was like, yo, this is going to be good. But keep in mind, I didn't finish seeing the whole thing. And my my two bosses, they were like, okay, I definitely got to check this out. And to my uh, to my buddy, Phil, the security guard, I also sent him a link, and to my other buddy, Sam, he's also a security guard at my job. You know, these guys are, you know, comic book fans like myself. We're all into this geek stuff. So anyway, after I took care of my business, I had a few minutes to sit down and finally sink my teeth into that trailer. I finished it, and I must say I was very impressed. I kept saying to myself, as long as they keep the movie dark and gritty, the movie will be a big hit with Joker fans like myself. As a matter of fact, the Joker is my personal favorite villain of all time. They just got to keep it dark. That's what made The Dark Knight so successful because it was a dark film. When I first when I first saw that movie in the very beginning, I said to myself, is this a PG movie? This should be a rated R movie. And that being said, The Joker has to be dark. If it's not going to be rated R, which I I highly doubt it, but they need to honor the source material they need to just you know they need to represent the Joker you know they need to I hope that the director took the time to read these awesome stories from DC Comics based upon the Joker the killing joke many Joker fans know about that and lots of them consider it as Probably the best Joker story ever made. I love that book. That book was awesome. And what they need to do is just take that and put it on the big screen. And so far, based upon this actor's performance, he's the guy who he played as the king or the emperor, the Roman emperor, in the movie Gladiator, if I'm not mistaken. I forgot his name, Phoenix something. When I first saw him, especially when he went like this, (laughs) I was like, yes. Do that and keep doing that. Keep bringing out that. And if you do that, That's it. Now, I have to uh, add something else to this video. DC has been on a roll. After, I mean, 
Justice League, Suicide Squad, Batman vs. Superman, those movies, I felt that DC was trying to uh, play copycat. They was trying to copy what Marvel was doing. And I kept saying to myself, stop trying to follow the Marvel formula and just do individual, solid, good films. And guess what? That's what they are doing. They did it with Wonder Woman. Excellent film. They did it with Aquaman, which I recently saw with my son Jaden last weekend. Very good movie. And now I'm hearing great now I'm hearing great things about Shazam. I already saw several trailers and I'm saying to myself, you know what, this movie's gonna be a major hit. Big time is gonna be a, a, a big hit. It's going to attract, you know, not not just the fans, but you know, a lot of people grew up with these characters. You know, these, these people, a lot of them are parents like myself. And they have kids now. And those kids are going to want to see this movie. And it's going to be a big hit for DC. Now, the Joker's coming out, in, coming out this October. And I'm saying to myself that they are consistently doing the right thing, which is coming out with individual movies. And what's so cool about it is that all these movies somehow, some way connect with each other. You know, you 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 will you will experience uh, certain parts of these movies uh, when it comes to references. You know, and that's good. Just keep it like that, and that's it. Don't go, don't go overboard, DC. Just you're doing good. Now, what they need to do with the Joker. After that movie is released, hopefully it's a big hit. They just have to follow up with a fantastic, dark Batman. That's it. And I don't want the Batman from Batman v Superman. I believe, the I forgot the name of the director, but uh, he made some comments about... He, he actually criticized... Someone who approached him and said, well, you know, Batman is not supposed to kill. And the director, I'm just going to paraphrase what he said. He was like, you know, uh, get over it. He used some profanity in his response. And I'm saying to myself, okay, you know what? I understand. You know, this is a, a, a debatable issue. You know, you have fans from both sides. I'm talking about Batman. Batman. Who would come out and say on one side that, yeah, you know, Batman way back in the days used to kill. As a matter of fact, I believe that in his early beginnings, he used to carry a gun. Okay. But then later on, the other side decided to not embrace that part of Batman. They rather embrace and embrace the... I will not murder anyone, Batman. And that's the crowd that I'm rolling with. Shout out to you, Kat, uh, my, my personal friend, uh, Paris, who is also on board with me regarding the no murder Batman character. And uh, I'm just bringing that up because that's my, pref my personal preference. If you're a Batman fan who adored uh, the director's uh, perspective on on the Batman from Batman v Superman, more power to you. I enjoyed that scene in the warehouse when he was doing his thing, but when he started, when he stabbed that guy in the heart, I said to myself, what is this? This is not Batman. Batman wouldn't do that. So I'm hoping that when they, hopefully, if they do, if they make a Batman movie right after the Joker. I'm hoping that it will be dark like the Dark Knight and just please I'm hoping that he doesn't murder anybody. I'm just hoping that the director will stick to the popular perspective on Batman which is Batman does not kill. Okay? So that's my two cents in the bag of Doritos. This is the Preacher Man signing out. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you and your families. And in Christ's 
holy name, I say amen. Peace.